What emotions shouldn't I ever disclose and what emotions should I share and disclose to the friends? I think that there is no such thing that people that are in a group cannot tell each other under the condition that from sharing this they will overcome the hatred towards love. That for this reason we are revealing these bad things in order for us together, man will help his friend, will rise above it from hatred to love. We're in excerpt number 33 out of Shemi Shmuel. Creating unity in the collective is only through pulverizing. When each one pulverizes himself and removes from himself the shell of crassness, through the battering and pulverizing the light of the soul shines, and there is really all of Israel, all is one. Again. Again, creating unity in the collective is only through pulverizing. When each one pulverizes himself and removes from himself the shell of crassness, through the battering and pulverizing, the light of the soul shines, and there is really, there is really all of Israel, all is one. Okay, so, Moscow 4. How is it possible to love someone if, to begin with, one doesn't want it? On the contrary, he's pushed away from it. We used to be all connected together in the soul of Adam Rishon in unconditional love, 100% love. Afterwards, the Creator created a crisis, a shattering, a division, hatred. But inside that, we have a Rishimo from that same state that used to be back then. And to that state is where we need to go back to. The Creator is awakening these Rishimot in us to come back to that state, only awakening it in a negative way. And we need to use the connection between us and the group in order to awaken ourselves to those good positive states. But the Rishimot are there. We just need to use them correctly. So we have hatred, great hatred, in all kinds of ways. We need to awaken the Rishimot of love, Rishimot of unity. We'll do it. Don't worry. 